Hey there, YouTubers. It's Don from True Cable coming back at you again. Uh, this time, I'm going to talk about insertion and removal of keystone jacks, not only from wall plates, but patch panels. And this uh, is a toolless patch panel, and you can use either uh, punch down or toolless keystone jacks in it, and the same thing with a wall plate. Uh, we're also going to talk a little bit about some questions that we get from time to time in regards to like what you can and can't do with these various items and what you should or should not do. So hold on just a moment. I'll be right back. Okay, so we're going to go and start talking first about a, our, uh, this is a two-port wall plate. And this is your standard wall plate that is attached to a wall that you normally would see a keystone in, in your wall. And you might be wondering what makes a standard wall plate and a standard keystone the same thing. Uh, basically, uh, it has to do with the fitment into the cutout of the wall plate with this front portion of the keystone. In other words, where the clip is, the height and width of this uh, keystone jack should fit very well in here, clip in, and then be flush with the front of the plate. As long as the items in question are standard or high density, same thing, um, then you're going to end up with a well-fit keystone. So is that you're not having to worry about that. Another question that I get occasionally is if you're using a shielded keystone jack, must you have a metal wall plate? And the answer is no. Uh, because the cable shield is going to bond to the keystone and that's how your bond to ground is going to go. It doesn't depend on the wall plate. It's not part of the bond and ground system. Okay, so with that out of the way, what's the insertion and removal procedure for a wall plate? Now, it, it, it's an innocent looking piece of plastic, no doubt, but more people have trouble with these things than I can count, so pay attention to this part. So if you flip it over, you're going to notice on there that there is an up arrow with the word up. Okay, that's important. And you want to, you want to, so that is the, so the wall plate's going to be like this in your wall, up. And you want your clips on your keystone jacks to be up. The bottom is a fulcrum point. It's basically a triangular piece of plastic. And that is used to hook in at the bottom because you hinge them in from the bottom of the jack. And you're going to grab onto this piece of plastic that's in there with the fulcrum point. And you're going to use that fulcrum as a lever to actually clip in. And the way that you want to work with these guys is when you insert the jacks, you want to work from top down. So the top jack, then the bottom jack. The reason why is because you're having to hinge them down to get them in. If there's a jack in the way, it's going to cause you trouble. So we're going to go ahead and put in the first one. And it snaps right in. And then you're going to see why it's very important to start with the top one. Because look, there we go. Wrong side, it has to be clip up. And now we got them inserted. Okay, so the next uh, thing that we get a lot of questions about is how do you get these things out of here? I mean, they're designed to be in there really, really good, right? So how do you get it out of there and especially how do you get it out of there without hurting yourself? Well, remember, this is plastic on plastic. So you, it's got a plastic clip requires some force, and you're going to press down on this plastic clip with a flat blade screwdriver. But be very careful during this process. It's easy to slide off and accidentally gouge your hand. In fact, I'll probably slide off on at least one of these and hit the table. So be very careful with this procedure. And you're going to want to remove them in the reverse order. So we're going to go from the bottom one first, and we're going to depress this top latch and hinge the jack down at the same time. And that requires three hands, and I've only got two. And there we go. So as you can see, it's very easy to accidentally gouge yourself. So be careful. Watch what you're doing. So that's how you deal with wall plates. Again, if you've got a better way, I want to hear about it, and I'll even film it. Because this is a shielded patch panel, we've got a metal rear frame here, and that is your fulcrum point, is that piece of metal right here. If you remember, we talked about that fulcrum point on the jack. So it's going to be clip up just like with the standard wall plate. And we're going to use that fulcrum point on the jack. And we're going to push it in and make sure that the fulcrum point has grabbed onto that piece of metal at the bottom. And then just simply hinge up. 
And this requires a little more force, but it got in there nicely. With a toolless one, it's the same procedure. You've got a couple of nubs of metal, and that is your fulcrum point, and then you're going to grab on to this piece of metal down here, so it, you're going to come up at an angle, and then you're simply going to clip it in. And you may have to push down on the tab on the top, and there it went. It didn't make a nice snap noise because I had it depressed. So now, if you accidentally put one of these guys in upside down, and I've done it, and I'm sure you probably have too if you've worked with these before, then you're just going to have to get creative about getting in with a screwdriver and removing it without damaging the jack or the panel. There's no quick and easy way around it. However, if you've got a quick and easy way around insert, you know, incorrectly inserting a jack into a patch panel and getting it out easily, that's another comment I'd like you to leave below. So uh, the removal procedure is even more straightforward when it comes to a 24-port uh, straight across uh, toolless patch panel. You're just simply depressing the top tab. Again, be careful with your hands. You're depressing the top tab, and you're going to hinge down. And that came out a lot easier. And the shielded one, same thing. You press the top tab and hinge down. There we go. But as you saw, that did slip a little bit. So again, careful. That's the name of the game. Uh, Ethernet, technology, all that stuff's really cool. But the reality is, you don't want to get hurt while playing with it. So um, that's pretty much it for this video. Again, if you've got comments, better ways, I want to hear all about it. We'll shoot it on video, I promise you. Uh, subscribe to our channel, leave us a like or a dislike as you see fit. And with that, I'm going to say you have a great day. Happy networking.